Yeah, what's good YouTube? It's your boy only one KDB and I'm back with another video on today's video We got how Dirty Dom became WWE's biggest player now. We all know Dirty Dom man. He He had Rhea Ripley now. He got Liv Morgan man. Liv Morgan been trying to Reel him in for a while now, but on SummerSlam He she finally got him man, but uh, we about to get to the video if y'all new to the channel Make sure you like share and subscribe smash that notification so you can get notified when I drop another banger and smash that like button because it helps me get into the algorithm. And yeah, we about to get it started, man. Hopefully, y'all boys enjoying y'all day. Take y'all notepads out. Y'all know the rules. I don't want y'all coming in here horse playing because we about to get this class started. Just four years ago, Dominic Mysterio was fresh on the scene of WWE. He was a clean-cut, goody-goody-good guy trying to follow his father's hey. legacy. His father, the most legendary luchador of all time, mm -hmm. the most popular mass wrestler in the last 20 years with WWE, Rey Mysterio. But considering how great his father's legacy was, there was always going to be additional pressure on him. Oh, the challenge of being the son of a great wrestler when you want to be your own star. This isn't something I wonder who's taller out of Rey Mysterio and Dominic. We've seen second, third, even fourth generation wrestling superstars face similar circumstantial pressure. But the difference between Dominic and, let's say, a Randy Orton was the fact that Dominic was in the spotlight before he very much had time to even develop. That's right. Dominic Mysterio played a supporting role oh, on WWE yeah. television when he was just a child in the mid-2000s. Randy Orton, on the other hand, had a couple of years to develop away from the spotlight before the age of social media and the pressures that come with it. Yeah. The constant analysis of the first few years of Randy Orton's career are not the same that Dominic faces now in a near 24-7 social media news cycle. In hindsight, things mm. play out the way they're supposed to, but it's also clear that Dominic has got a lot of unnecessary pressure and crit- Bro, Samoa Joe, that is- bro, I remember him. What happened to Samoa Joe? At just 23 years old, it's almost like people expected Dominic to be a carbon copy of his father, you know? Fickle fans who simply can't look at someone below the surface. Thankfully, it was realized in the scenes that have played out that he was never going to be Rey Mysterio. He was bound to be his own man. Yes, maybe wear his own mask at one point. That's a different video. But the last two he years have proven mask? just how good he really is. He's one of WWE's biggest storyline players and the center of one of the hottest wrestling storylines of 2024. So how did Dominic Mysterio go from being undesirable to some but so despised by so many, and in a way, desirable. He is WWE's biggest utility player. This is Sports Key to Wrestling. I'm Kevin Kellum. Sound off on... First of all, time out. He's not Cody Rhodes. Don't say undesirable to undeniable. That's all Cody Rhodes. Shout out to Dominic, though. Bro, why every time I pause it, it's always on the kissing scene? Why? Why do this keep happening to me? This happened like the third time already, like... Mysterio and what you think of his current wrestling status. Stand back. There's a new wrestling quiz coming through. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streak. Oh, I might do this because y'all, y'all, you know, I got WWE knowledge. Like, I know everything about the WWE. Like, you can't get nothing past me. I know everything. I don't know everything. I just know a little bit about everything. So, I might ace this quiz. I might take this stats and more it's time to see if you're up for the challenge the mummy of wwe rhea ripley may have done a whole lot for dominic mysterio yes she's done a massive favor for his career in the months leading up to him joining the purple and black bad guy group the judgment day a clip went viral of her locking her legs around his neck and you simpy that. simpy simpy people on the internet lost your minds over it because you all shared it which was really the kind of precursor to what has become their on-screen relationship. Yes, it was really a week before that happened in late July when WWE began building up to it. First, it involved Rhea Ripley hijacking Rey Mysterio's 20th anniversary celebrations backstage. She elbowed Aaliyah Mysterio, Rey Mysterio's daughter, in the face and dragged Dominic by the hair and used it so Damien Priest of Yo. the Judgment Day could ambush Rey Mysterio. The next week, the triangle choke that was seen around the world happened. The week after that, Rhea dragged Dominic's lifeless body to the stage to distract Rey Mysterio 
and help Finn Balor beat him. It was right before Clash at the Castle on Raw that we got an example of just how much power Rhea had over him. Dominic had a kendo stick in his hand, and the only person left in the ring was Rhea Ripley. Dominic didn't want to use the weapon on her, but his body language indicated that he would do it if he was left with no choice. Rhea, with that devilish million dollar smile on her face, the entire time stood her ground and managed to get Dominic to simply hand over the kendo stick. Days later, Dominic would turn on Edge and his father and officially join the Judgment Day at the Clash of the Castle event. The audible gasp, even though everyone saw it coming, was still a stunning moment. Probably I'm not gonna lie, for you doing that to Rey Mysterio, man, you can fuck around, lock you out the house. You ain't gonna be able to get into the fucking house. You gonna be like, man, you gonna be searching for your keys and shit, you gonna try to get in, and the door gonna be locked. Not only is it gonna be locked, he gonna change the locks on your motherfucking ass, so... You're going to have to sleep at a hotel for the time being, Dominic. Shouldn't have did your pops like that. Best heel turns that WWE's had in years. That's when the wheels began to turn, not only for his relationship with Rhea, but his entire character. On the Raw after Clash at the Castle, he had a completely new look with slicked black hair, and he got booed out of the building because, you know, of the things he did. Suddenly, Rhea was getting more hands-on with Dominic, like literally, Damn. she was literally the one who kept pushing him into situations to prove his commitment. And more than Damien or Finn Balor, it was Rhea who was helping him put on his big boy pants and be a real bad boy in WWE. In the early stages of Dominic, Mysterio and Judgment Day cutting promos, you can see Rhea Ripley eyeballing Dominic, and it was not a look of romantic affection. It was something that we'll just leave there. Yeah, you, you can look back at it yourself. She even put on the I'm Your Poppy shirt to irk Rey Mysterio. This was changed quickly to I'm Your Mommy. Of course, a reference to the infamous storyline between Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero, who claimed to be Dominic's real father in the mid-2000s. 2005 SummerSlam, look it up. They hate fought for the custody of Dominic in a ladder match. Yeah, that was real. Little did young Dominic know at the time that he would be the center of a completely different... That's where I got that uh, that custody match from, from uh, with Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. I said they should fight for uh, Dominic Mysterio. That's where I got it from, this storyline right here. I remember this. When he grew up, Rhea was quickly becoming a big influence in his life. It was easy to see the sub dom kind of relationship that was being played out here on television. They were together all the time on screen, and she was instrumental in her endless attacks with Dominic on Rey Mysterio. She helped him pin the WWE legend AJ Styles on Monday Night Raw. Then the harassment reached a new level. They first hijacked the Mysterio's family Thanksgiving dinner. Dominic, for his part, began sacrificing crazy. himself for Rhea Ripley once again, even getting, uh, yeah, missed it in the face by Asuka for what the sake that? of Mommy. The audience loved Rhea, but they absolutely hated Dominic, which probably <laughs> was one of the reasons why it made for such good television. It only took a couple of months for things to take off in a big way. And by the end of the year, we got Prison Dom cutting a promo about how jail changed him, even though he was only in county prison for like 30 minutes because he interrupted <laughs> another Mysterio family holiday occasion. Yeah, 30 like minutes Prison Mike from that episode of The Office. We just don't buy it, bud. We saw clips of Rhea training Dominic, then their first Valentine's Day dinner, where Mommy had to tell the waiter to go cool on the ketchup because little Dom Dom doesn't like spice. Okay, the uh, ketchup's too spicy mm -hmm. for you? Oh, and on top of that, his card was- I didn't even know ketchup was spicy. You learn something new every day. Hey. Find and she had to pay. Ah, uh, we get where this is going. Yeah, Rhea being the man of the relationship and having to pay the bill was- Damn, Dominic, you got embarrassed on that. This is embarrassed. I'm not gonna lie, for you to play this role like this. <laughs> she literally the man in a relationship, Dominic. You ain't gonna stand up for yourself? You should've said, hey, I got this. Don't, don't even worry about it, I pay the bill. But nope, you let her pay it, Dominic. That's crazy. Mm-mm-mm. And she had to tell the waitress the ketchup be too spicy for you. That's crazy work, man. No wonder you got with Liv Morgan instead. She was treating you like she was your fucking... I mean, I guess her name is mom. That's what you was calling the mommy, so... 
That's what she was at. Another like. layer of adding depth to her character that no other female player in WWE got to have at that moment. Rhea Ripley found more success than any woman in pro wrestling in 2023. And guess who turned out to be the direct beneficiary of that? Dirty Dominic, yes. He went on a small way. All winning streak after WrestleMania 39 when he hey. got his backside whipped by his father, Rey Mysterio, thanks to Rhea Ripley helping him stack up those wins. But more than anything, it helped further grow into his character. That character just so happened to be the biggest coward in WWE. <laughs> Dominic become the NXT North American champion as well, where his oh, presence real? on the show gave a small but moderate and healthy boost to the ratings of that third tier brand for WWE. It seemed like almost everything was great between them. Oh, NXT is like JV, right? And WWE, SmackDown and Raw is like Varsity. That's crazy, man. I didn't even know Dominic was on NXT. So post-WrestleMania season this year went out of nowhere, but not really out of nowhere. One Liv Morgan would come around and ruin it all. Liv and Rhea had quite some history with Rhea injuring Liv and putting her on the shelf and Liv claiming revenge on Rhea at some point in revenge. I want to ask y'all something. When Liv Morgan got her fucking shoulder dislocated and she had to have surgery and shit, was that in the script? Like, did she have to get her shoulder fucking dislocated in order for the script to be successful? Because if that wasn't in the script, I would have been pissed off like a motherfucker. I'm not going to lie. That shit looked like it hurt it, bro. And what's our shoulder even really dislocated? If that shit was real and it was a part of the script, I'm not going to lie, man. That, that that's, that's a little painful. That shit hurt was about to creep up on everyone involved. Not only was it the spelling of the end of the day of the seemingly modern day fairy tale, dark dripped leather clad romance, but it would be the end of the judgment day as we know it. At first, Dominic was seen as being just a pawn in the mind games here. Liv Morgan's intentions were clear. She wanted to take everything from Rhea Ripley that she loved. Thus the name of Liv Morgan's revenge to her. Yes, sir. Liv had every incentive to get back at Rhea, but the good old-fashioned backstage attack putting her on the shelf with an injury wasn't going to be enough. This is where a new level of brilliance for this entire story began to unfold. The old saying of how mental scars are worse than physical ones. Liv Morgan knew that even after attacking Rhea Ripley fresh off her big win at WrestleMania 40 over Becky Lynch and forcing her to vacate the Women's World Championship, the knife needed to be dug even deeper. The first part of the plan, though, for Liv Morgan was to capture that Women's World Championship that Rhea never lost and was forced to vacate due to the injury. After one failed attempt in a battle royal match on Raw, she managed to do exactly that in Saudi Arabia. And looking back at it, Dominic's interference was kind of a uh, sus. Yeah, very suspect. He first told Liv Morgan before the match that he flew all the way to Saudi Arabia on behalf of Rhea Ripley, and his goal was to make sure Liv Morgan wouldn't be the women's world champion in that match with Becky Lynch. But that plan back, Liv used the opportunity to take advantage of the chair and become a champion champion again, taking the title My off goat. Of Becky Lynch Let's get it. in a very controversial fashion. The next time on Raw, it was a little more accidental, but Dominic helped live anyway, leading to a moment where she first kissed him in the shadow of a steel cage and a very upset Becky Lynch. Liv Morgan had truly laid down the trap for Dominic, and the second part of the plan was now underway. Take Dominic away from Rhea. Despite months of persistence from Damian Priest to make his feelings clear to Liv Morgan, Dom never did it until he was forced to. The consequences of his actions were quickly catching up with him once Rhea Ripley returned on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, breaking up a very weird <laughs> embrace between Liv Morgan and Dominic, but it didn't help him very long to get back into a good grip places of mummy when she was told something that basically defined their relationship. She said, I'm not yours, you're mine. It all came to a head. Damn. SummerSlam 2024, not too long ago in Cleveland, Ohio. Rhea Ripley strutting to the ring, purple and black. Her first big match after a serious shoulder injury, of course, inflicted on her by Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan <laughs> dancing around the ring. Oh, trying to avoid it. Oh, Rhea Ripley technically shoving her shoulder back into the socket. Oh, all of it playing out and teasing of a questionable interaction from Dominic at ringside. Only for him to once again 
sneak that chair into the ring, but this time, Liv Morgan would use it Oblivion once again to take over. out Rhea and retain the title. But in the post-match scene, it was so much more of the revenge being for Liv. That's right. Dominic would embrace her and leave the ring giving her a big smooch and breaking the heart of Rhea Ripley in the process. She didn't just lose the championship, she lost Dominic in the process. The entire storyline is the big example of how WWE is pushing the limits of PG-rated content. It really wasn't a love triangle based on love, it was a love triangle based on feelings of hatred, jealousy, and using one person to get back at another. On one hand, Dominic was with a woman on screen who basically owned him in Rhea, treating him like a pet on a leash. On the other <laughs> hand, someone was offering to be submissive in their relationship. Despite him denouncing Liv Morgan and leaving her in tears, it was all a ruse, yes. Whether it was Dominic deciding that he didn't want what he had with Rhea anymore, or whether he simply felt more affection for Liv Morgan as a better option, one thing is obvious. Dominic is a freaking sleazebag. That's right. We know you guys who are Rhea lovers wanted to hear that from being presented as a person dragged into the middle of a storyline between two women who hate each other, he turned out to be the biggest villain out of all of it. Liv Morgan, while not exactly an angel, no, she's more of a devil, had motivations to just be justified in seeking revenge. But now she's gotten more than revenge. She's gotten the affections and dedication of Dominic. But Dominic nothing justified what he did to Rhea next. She helped him win his first singles title in WWE. She helped him win. Retain it. Uh, helped him step out of his father's shadow and genuinely helped him become a better superstar. <clears throat> now y'all know Triple H be telling me the script beforehand. I'm going to tell y'all something else. What's about to happen soon. I'm not going to say it's going to happen this Monday night on Raw. That's coming up. I'm saying it's going to happen real soon. <laughs> y'all not going to believe me when I tell y'all this. Dominic and fucking Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. He, he gonna have both of them, basically. He gonna have both of them in his back pocket. You better hear first. But, uh, we about to get out of here, man. If y'all enjoyed that reaction video, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. That's gonna do it, man. We about to get out of here, fam. This was how Dirty Dom became WWE's biggest player. Low-key, he is a player, if you think about it. Nah, that first relationship was, wasn't no player shit. So, <laughs> never mind, he ain't no player. <laughs>